Welcome back to the Lumios Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon, and today, well today, we're talking about uh, the solution to the greatest debate, in my opinion, the Pokemon community of all time. Uh, what this debate is, is about the Paradox Pokemon. There's been this debate ever since the Paradox Pokemon were first revealed, and Scarlet and Violet's, you know, debut about what these things were. You know, there, of course, is the explanation that they could be actual, you know, pieces of time right like great tusk is truly a descendant or an ancestor excuse me of dawn fan whereas iron treads is truly a descendant of dawn fan you know talking many many like millions of years into the future or the past whatever it may be very far away right but still related but then some people thought no these pokemon are actually just from the dreams from the imagination of Heath or Professor Sada or Professor Turo. And truthfully, there were really good arguments to both sides, you know. Uh, the game's explanation does say that these are, you know, distant relatives of the Pokemon of today. You know, we see that uh, they say this about Coridon specifically and Miridon specifically. They say Coridon is an ancestor to Cyclozar. Miridon is a descendant to Cyclozar. They hammer it out. So if you're going by the game, yeah, that's the explanation. But there was a lot of good evidence for these Pokemon being based on uh, being pulled from dreams or imagination as well. Such as Slitherwing's Dex entry talking about uh, how a fossil of this Pokemon has never been found. And also, like, there's all these weird occult culture rumors about these Pokemon, like how Iron Hands was a human that got genetically modified, you know? I mean, it's, it's all kind of crazy stuff, right? And also, there's the fact that, you know, even the Legendary Beast, that kind of just, it, it seems a little weird. But the game doesn't exactly give us a direct explanation. They'd never come out and say, hey, they really are descendants and ancestors. Sorry, guys, Tropagos' powers are time-based. And they never say Tropagos is pulling from dreams. However, there is a lot that the game does give us that can help us reach a conclusion, and that's exactly what we're here to talk about today. Okay, so the game does show that Tropagos has time-related powers. This comes from, and obviously, spoiler warning, get out of here if you don't want spoilers, but this comes from after you have beaten the game, after you have caught Tropagos and you have, you know, uh, gone to the crystal pool you will go there with Terrapagos and a cutscene will activate and in this cutscene you will see Professor Sada or Professor Turo depending on the version of your game of course and they'll talk a little bit about their research and this is all in reference to like the crystal pool saying that you can see the uh, deceased there sometimes people say you can see the deceased there and that's exactly what happens you see Professor T Sada and Professor Turo however this isn't them resurrected. Instead, they imply that they have been pulled from their time. They have been pulled from the past to the present day to talk to you now at the Crystal Pool. In this, like I said, they talk about their research. And one thing I thought was really interesting is that Professor Sada does not say, I research Pokemon that lived in the ancient past. Professor Turo does not say, I research Pokemon that live in the distant future. No, they both say they are researching Pokemon in different timelines. And bringing them to the present so the issue is yes by pulling professor sada and turo from the past tropico shows time-based powers however the professors here confirm that you know paradox pokemon are not from the past or future but from alternate timelines and this is more than just simple time travel allow me to explain how okay so this is where the podcast comes in handy because i have some coke bottles in here from doing the podcast <laughs> so Let's say this is the timeline, right? This red strip is the present, so obviously this bottle cap is going to be the uh, future or the past, depending on which area you're looking at, it doesn't really matter, and this other side is the past or the future. Time travel is simply jumping across this line, right? But they said that po these Pokemon, these Paradox Pokemon, are from alternate timelines. So you have a second Coke bottle, right? You have another timeline. That means that Tropagos is not simply hopping from here to here. No, he's hopping from here to up here. He's going to a whole nother timeline. That's more than just simple back and forth time travel, guys. That's that's multiverse hopping. That is reality hopping. I mean, that's insane. And there's more evidence that Tropagos' powers are beyond time-based as well. First off, just look at the Terrestrial Phenomenon. The Terrestrial Phenomenon is created by Tropagos, but... 
it doesn't have anything to do with time, right? It's not like it reverts Pikachu into a Pichu or evolves it into a Raichu for the battle. No, it's nothing like that. Instead, it just literally changes Pikachu's type. It changes the reality of Pikachu. Pikachu's an electric type, but nope. You terrestrialize it, and it is now a grass type. It is changing the reality of it. Even when you battle Terrapagos, its terrestrial form has this ability called Terra Shell. And what Terra Shell does is when Terrapagos is at full health, any move that hits it will do not very effective damage. So if you hit it with a fighting move, which is normally super effective against a normal type like Terrapagos, it will do not very effective damage. And there's even this line of dialogue where it says that Tropagos is warping the way types work. And even Briar's like, oh my gosh, he is warping the way types work. It's reality. Tropagos' powers are reality-based. And that does encompany time, but it also has a lot of other things in it. Reality is more than just time. It's, it's more than just the when. It's the what, it's the how, it's the where. All of those things... Terrapago seems to be able to warp. Think very similar to uh, the reality zone in the MCU. If we have any MCU fans out there, you know how, like, I think about when Thanos uses it, he turns Drax into, like, line, or, like ribbons, pretty much, and blocks, and uh, it doesn't kill Drax. He just literally, like, changes the reality of it. He also creates this whole simulation that Peter Quill, like, thinks, oh, you know, this place is under control but then the reality is thanos is like practically burned it to the ground and he was just hiding it with the reality stone right like things like that or even wanda the scarlet witch she warps reality she changes the reality of things and wandavision she makes it like they're on a television show changing reality more than just the when also the what the how the why tropico shows his ability to change the win such as bringing sada and turo to the present but also shows his ability to change the what to take things from other timeline and make them exist in our own. To take something that is normally, like, it's like physics in our world. It's like gravity. It is a thing that happens in the Pokemon world. Fire types beat grass types. Well, Tropagos doesn't care about that. He warps that to where that doesn't happen. Arcanine is a fire type Pokemon. Tropagos warps that. He can become a water type Pokemon now. It, it's all just reality warping it's more than time based i if you take one thing away from this video let it be that perhaps even if we look at tropagos stellar form we can get some more insight into this so tropagos stellar form which i hate by the way uh it looks really stupid to me but it has tropagos and you do see like the baby turtle on top of tropagos and this comes from this like chinese dragon called the feng shui and now I would just like to say I am not Chinese, so the odds that I pronounce that correctly are like 0.001%, and I apologize if that offends anybody, I'm doing the best I can. But uh, yeah, this, this creature is Chinese in origin. You know what else is Chinese in origin in Powdale? The Treasures of Ruin, which if you read the Treasures of Ruin's descriptions and their backstories, it talks about how these are items that came to life one day. And... That's kind of weird, especially since these items came from the east. It says they came from another region in the east, were brought here to Paldea, and only came to life in Paldea. Perhaps because, again, Terrapagos is changing reality. He is changing the what of these Pokemon. And I think there is something to be said if we want to get into Terrapagos' uh, like kind of full um, way his powers works. I think there's something to be said about Terrapagos perhaps being fueled by... The dreams or the wants or, or even just a strong emotion of people right like one could say that he was able to transform into a stellar form and kind of go nuts at the finale because of briar's ambition briar's passion to discover the hidden treasure of area zero perhaps he was able to create these paradox pokemon he was able to bring them in from these other timelines because of Professor Sada and Professor Turo's strong desire to see them and to bring that, to make that dream a reality. So in a way, he does make dreams a reality if you think about it. Uh, but yeah, so then there's also the fact that, you know, this is all speculative on the professor's behalf, right? Like, there's no way they could do research on Pokemon from other timelines, right? There is no way I can know what happens in another timeline beyond, like, knowing oh i might have eaten eggs for breakfast instead of having country ham you know it, it's 
it's impossible to do really in-depth research on that without reality hopping. It doesn't seem the professors did that until they invented the time machine, which was after they had already known about these Pokemon, like they already knew about the Winged King. So there's definitely some mystery there. There's definitely an argument that I think could be made that these Pokemon are not from other timelines, but are indeed from imagination. But I definitely won't harp you all with that. I just think it is something interesting to think about that there's no way they could have known these Pokemon exist in another timeline. That makes no sense. But regardless, I think it's really interesting that if you read between the lines here, you do see a little bit about Tropagos' powers and a little bit about these Paradox Pokemon. Now, the fact that this is never said outright does kind of give me some hope that maybe we'll see these themes, this story, this lore carry over in a future game. And I, I don't mean a future game like Scarlet and Violet remakes in, what, 2050? I don't know when they'd come out. But I don't mean like that. I mean... I mean, there's a chance that whatever 2024 brings could continue this story. You know, I don't think it'll be like a direct sequel to Scarlet and Violet, but I do think that it could be uh, something that carries over the themes of it. I think about how uh, when Generation 6 was happening, Pokemon X and Y introduced us to the Mega Evolution phenomenon, and that was really cool. And they gave us a lot for it, but they didn't exactly give us everything for it. And then Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out the next year. And Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire did not, uh, they didn't continue X and Y's story, but they did take that Mega Evolution theme, put it in the games, and kind of carry on with it and talk a little bit more about it and give us some more lore on Mega Evolution, how it works, where it comes from, all those things. It continued that theme. I think that there's a very decent chance that the 2024 games could do that with it, you know? And I know a lot of people will probably point at generation 8 just last gen say well Gigantamax never carried over and that's because there really was no mystery behind Gigantamax right like we know it came from Tropagos and likewise there's really no mystery about Terrastool either if you think about it but the Paradox Pokemon there still is so I do think they could do more with that but again that's speculation for another time I just wanted to get into Tropagos's powers and how you know, it, they are indeed time-based, but they're more than that. And, you know, I don't think we should undercut this little guy. This little guy can do a lot more than just time travel, guys, or bring things in from other times. This this little guy can change reality as we know it. He can change the way the world works, which is insane. I mean, he, this little guy's practically like Arceus. Another example for the record would be that ordinarily a Master Ball catches every Pokemon. And it did catch Tropagos, but he still busted out and, you know, destroyed the Master Ball. He literally left the care of Kieran, which is something that uh, traditionally we only see being possible by the trainer like officially releasing it or giving it away uh, certainly never with the ball being destroyed like even uh, in the anime ash's pokeball was destroyed by snorlax but that snorlax was still is he just had to get the pokeball repaired to return it you know it wasn't like it was completely available to any other trainer now so i think that also is something very worth noting uh yeah, so uh, I guess the question now would be which power is Terrapagos using to pull in these Paradox Pokemon? Is he pulling them in from another timeline? Is he pulling them in from the past or the future of our time? Is he pulling them in from the imaginations or dreams of someone? It's not completely answered, but we definitely have enough now to where any of those answers I think you can make a very sound argument for. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss all of our future videos. Uh, hopefully, I don't sound too bad uh, with this one. My voice has been a little bit hoarse, but hopefully it's coming off good. I'm putting in all the effort, and then right after this, I'm probably going to take a cough drop. But yeah, <laughs> be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, all that fun stuff. And until next time, I'll see all of you later.